Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Uh, several weeks ago, I made a envelope book for Valentine's Day and it was wildly popular. You guys really enjoyed it. So I've decided to make a little mini version in a fairy, sort of a fairy theme. Yeah. I think it'll be really cute. So I got these envelopes recently from a Timu haul. There's a video for that as well, but they're in a pack of 10 and they come in these three colors in the pack. So you get four of the craft, three of the ivory and two of the black, three of the black rather. And they measure um, two and a half inches by four inches ish. Okay, they're all the same, but you know, they're a little bit under, a little bit over. So really any mini envelopes would work for this project. I'm going to be using the black ones. I bought two packs of these, so I'm going to be using a total of, well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all six, but I have all six to work with. I'm also going to be using the adorable fairy garden collection from Hot Off The Press the six by six patterned cardstock, as well as a sheet of the fairy dazzle stickers, and then the coordinating fairy collection, a uh, fairy garden die cuts, little tags. Also a little bit of gingham ribbon. So I think this is gonna come out really cute, you guys. And stick around to the end of the video, not only to see the finished product, but also to learn how you can win this fi finished product for your very own. I don't like to keep my finished products. I like to share them with my subscriber friends. So if you like, comment, and subscribe, you will be entered automatically into win this one book that I'm making. And then I will mail it off to you and you'll get a little happy mail with this cute little fairy book. So stick around to the end of the video and learn more details. All right, here is the original um, envelope book that I made for Valentine's Day. And as I said, I'll link this video down below in the description box and at the end of the video. I'm gonna give you a little flip through here in case you're interested in making it. So this is a great page for photos, little tags. There's lots of little pockets here. Another great way for photos or just journaling. There's a little side pocket cut away from the envelope on the side. Little tags here and another little pocket right here. And of course it's got the sweet little ribbon binding. All right, so as I said, that's just made out of multiple envelopes just like this one and they are nested together. And we're gonna get right on that and show you how to do it using the black envelopes. So the cute little collection I'm using today is six by six fairy garden from hot off the press. It's double sided and there's these little tiny fairies, you guys and butterflies hidden within the papers. There's even like a little fairy door there. It's adorable. And I thought this is just the perfect size and it's a great sheet of cutouts. And then of course you get multiple, I think there's four of each of these in the collection you guys. So I'm just starting out with this six. Of course I dropped my envelopes. All right, so to make the base of this book, super, super simple. I'm gonna open up the first one. We're gonna need a little bit of glue. I like to use liquid glue for this. I like to use Cosmic Shimmer, but any liquid glue would work. We're gonna open up another one. We're gonna put a very small amount of glue here and here. And you're gonna open this envelope up and you're going to just tuck this one inside. And then you just wanna make sure that everything is aligned here and that this flap can close. That's important to close that each time, kind of moves everything over. And then we're going to keep doing that. And I'm just putting a small amount of glue in because once we get ev all the envelopes in here and we shut, we shut, we glue the flap on the very front cover down it's all secure this is just to keep everything in place to make sure nothing accidentally flies out come on get in there come on come on oh these have these little flaps in the front of them and i think there we go they're just getting caught up there kind of a slit all right we're gonna make sure there we go and you're just opening it up to the back every time. A little bit extra glue. In fact, I'm probably even putting too much glue on. You 
Yeah, see, it keeps wanting to come out through that little slit. So adjusting for the slit, which like your standard size envelopes don't have this. These are almost like those size envelopes that you would get when you send flowers from the florist. Kind of like that. Come on. There. Okay, making sure that that's lined up. Okay, so there's page one, two, three, then the last one. Let's do one more. Okay, I think if I open this up a little bit more, it's sliding in just fine. It's just this little notch or slit right here is causing it issues. There we go. All right, so we glue that down. That's cover. Then page one, two, three, four, five, six. Should we just go ahead and do the other one? Let's just use up all the black envelopes because I said I did get two packages of these. So I am working with a total of six black mini envelopes. Oops. All right. Everything Good to go there. Now, we're just gonna glue this front flap down because we don't need that anymore. All right, so now the base is complete. How adorable. And we're gonna use like some of these pockets, some we're gonna cover with paper, and yeah, I think it's gonna be adorable. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make the little binding, or rather the closure. And I'm just taking, this is 3 8 inch wide black and white gingham ribbon. It's about 12 inches here. It's about 24 inches here. Let's see how much we're gonna need. I feel like I only need 18 inches. I just kind of measured it on a ruler here. Yep. So that's just 18 inches. We'll keep that, might need to make a little bow or something out of it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just put a line of glue here, a line of glue here, and we're going to put this right here, and that right down the back, and then we're going to make sure those are even. All right. And we're just gonna let that dry for just a few minutes and then we're gonna start decorating the front cover. So we'll be right back. All right, it's time to make the cover. So I have chosen this adorable paper right here. Um, I'm going to be using it on its side. It's got these beautiful sort of cascading pearls going down to this beautiful uh, floral piece right here, but we're gonna turn it like this and I think we're gonna use it kind of like this and then do something on the side here. So I wanna feature this kind of next to the opening. So how I do that is I like to leave a little bit of a border around my paper and then I would just sort of mark it here and here to continue that border all the way around. So you're cutting it down and leaving about a 1 8 inch border all the way around and then that's what I came up with right there. So we're going to glue this down first. Just like that. And then I really like to decorate the binding. But before we do that, we're gonna quick go ahead and add the one to the back. So I can find it somewhere. All right, we've got this piece all cut down to add the back. All right. Now, 
I love a little bit of gingham. So I've got some pink gingham here that is just going to be adorable for the binding. And I love how that's just gonna just coordinate with that. This is from gingham number two, six by six papers. I'll link that down below. That's also from Han Off the Press. And I'm just gonna cut this down to the same kind of height or length. And then I'm measuring this to be, it's about one and a half inches wide. And I'm just gonna fold this over. And that's just going to get right there on that edge. How cute is that? For that sweet little binding, I love it. So let's go ahead. We're gonna add some glue to both sides, the most important part being those outer edges. Got a little squeezing out there. All right, boy, I used way too much glue. All right, there we go. That is adorable, I really like how that turned out. Now, we could add a little bit of edging to that, and I think we're gonna do that. Just a little bit of lace, kind of right there, just to, just to add the, you know, aw shucks, that's adorable. Whenever I'm doing a project like this, I will just sort of <laughs> take stock as I'm going along and go, is there anything else I can do to make that more adorable? That's, that's what I actually say to myself. And I just feel like this takes up the adorableness another notch. Let me know. Do you guys think that's just taking it up to the appropriate level of ador adorableness? All right, I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then we're going to trim that off. So now we can return at the end when we're done decorating everything else and add more decorations to this. But in the meantime, while that's drying, let's get started on the inside. We've got a pocket right here but this has a lot going on on the front so i don't always like to put a pocket right here so i think this first page i've cut down some pink papers and i think how cute to put that there and leave this one as sort of like a photo page and these this is the paper that i cut down so this is coming from here okay and then i'm just turning it don't be afraid to make the tops of your, the bottoms of your papers the tops. Turn those around. I just like to look at things like fairies and butterflies that are on the papers and make sure they're going in the right direction because sometimes it looks a little odd if you have an upside down fairy. But other than that, you can turn these in any direction that you need. All right, so that is kind of page one. And then, you guys, how cute, you could just add in your little photos, little journaling, little notes, things like that. That's where we're going with this. All right, so I'm gonna take a break and do some more pages here. I am gonna stop and um, point out how, to, how I handle this pocket here, but I'll do the other just plain pages and come right back. All right, we are back for our flip throughs. You can see here on the front, I added one of the little fairies. And I'll show you how I did that as we get going here through our little flip through. So we open our book. Great place to add little photos, little notes, more fairies. And I've added some crystals to the page as well. It's these little guys right here, just a little dot of glue. It's our little tag. Perfect little book for magical birthday, adding in some special handwritten notes, some photos, some more crystals here. It's my little side pocket right there. Just to get caught up on my staple, there we go. And then we've got our little pocket right here. 
added some more of these little crystals on either side of the pocket and another little fairy pocket here added a fairy to that little tag and we've got a little fairy here so how do I add my fairies we've got our little sheet here of dazzle sticker fairies and I like to use a little pokey tool it's so cute to add these I like to kind of have my fairies going into the book so it's, instead of flying out of the book if that makes sense they're flying in towards the center so when I'm selecting them I like to find them where they're kind of flipped going the other way so for example this one is facing out I like her to face in so she likes to stick around and fly within her little book and there's a little fairy here that's already printed on the paper and then right here we can add a little fairy that's sitting lift that up and she can just sit right on that flower oops my little crystal in the way fortunately it's not dry we can just move that over all right so those are very easy to add and fun especially if you're adding photos to things the little fairies can go on the photos as well so you guys i would love 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 to give this little fairy book away so if you like comment and subscribe i would love to have my sister-in-law who's my editor carrie carrie is in charge of choosing the winner and then watch next week's video and you'll see if you are the winner. It's hidden within the video. Um, so thanks so much, you guys. Please subscribe. We know that YouTube tells us that more than half of you are not subscribed. It really helps my channel grow and just consider it a thank you for the video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.